All right, it's about 4 p.m. on uh, Thursday, February 1st, 2024. And I've just moved the cows to another row here. So they were here on Sunday. I moved them here on Thursday, so that's probably three and a half days, something like that. There's one cow. My hat is just going to come off in the wind. I do have the microphone hooked up right now. There should be a little bit of wind noise, but not much. Uh, Blue's frantically looking for her calf. Let me go help her find it. And I got to get number 19 and her calf to the new land. No new moo babies today. No new calves. So hopefully the wind isn't bothering you guys that much. Uh, right now it's about 70, 72 degrees. Kind of nice. Clear skies. Uh, where I come from, it's a nice summer day. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I'm ready to declare uh, spring here early. I'm going to wait till the grass starts growing. So. Let's find your calf, Blue. Judging by where you're looking, it's probably over on the wire that way. So let's go get her. Get him. It's a boy. So if you're wondering, I had three bulls and a heifer. So the first three were bulls, and number 19 gave me a heifer. So. Yeah, I don't see your calf over here, Blue. This is the stockpile that I'm saving for spring when we start seeing a lot of spring growth and um, the manure gets really runny because they're munching on fresh grass. I'm going to start mowing down or start moving them into this pasture so they can eat plenty of hay along with the green grass. Hopefully get a balance. There, there he is. I see him. Look at those birds. I'm told that birds are a good sign. Bugs are a good sign. And it's a sign of life. All right. Little buddy, you got to move. You can't stay here. All right, let's go. Come on, get up. I found you. Come on. Get up. There you go. All right, you got to cross that wire. Don't get zapped. Oh, there you go. You got zapped. All right. Let's get you guys to the new row. Uh, somebody asked why the video was blurry. The answer is that sometimes, usually I upload the videos and put them on a schedule. And so YouTube has a chance to uh, get the high resolution videos ready. But sometimes I just upload it directly. And that means once there's a video to show, YouTube will release it to the public. And if you click too fast on a video, then you're not going to see the higher resolution version because that's not distributed yet to the Edge servers. If that makes any sense to you, then I probably didn't need to explain it to you. Put another way. Um, so imagine you have millions of people trying to watch videos all at the same time. And you have millions of videos. The issue is, is that's a lot of data to send all over the world. And so if somebody uploads a video in France and somebody in Mexico wants to watch that video, what has to happen is the video has to move from France to Mexico. Suppose uh, YouTube had servers. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the new row. Come on, buddy. Uh, so what, what YouTube does is it basically preloads the videos all across the world. So that when somebody in Mexico clicks on the video, uh, they don't have to load the data from France. And I'm afraid she's going to kick me or something. She's not happy right now. Come on. And uh, so the small files that are easy to send all across the world are the low resolution videos. And the large files are the high resolution videos. And YouTube turns the video on so people can see it before the large files have all been distributed. So sometimes when you click on a fresh video that's just been uploaded, you're going to get a lower resolution version of it. So to get around that, I normally schedule my videos like for the next day or something. These dogs are not making Blue happy. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. Come on. 
There you go. That's everyone and all the calves. Okay, so we're all good to go. Fresh uh, standing hay. Um, they're not going to be eating around their manure. I gave them some protein. They have water over there. You see the water? And there's plenty of room to spread out if they want to, all the way down the row. And we're going to keep them here for three days. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, we'll move them again to the next row. And uh, we're going to move the bulls down more quickly to keep some distance between the cows and the bulls. Not that it's going to be an issue, because I doubt there's any open cows right now that are ready to breed back. So, all right, guys. That's all I got for you. Have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.